Hey guys, Mugs here, and uh, today I've got another lesson, but it's, it's more of an informal lesson. I don't know if you want to call this Mugs' MK Classroom or not. Um, maybe it's more like a seminar, like a, like an extra session. Um, something just to, uh, to sort of guide you, something that I'm certainly no pro at, but I think I have some valuable insight on. And so without further ado, let me get on with it, because today I have my four keys to bagging successfully, or sandbagging successfully. Okay, so before uh, I go any further though, we might need to just address the question, what is bagging? Well, bagging, or sandbagging, is pretty simple. It's when you intentionally hold back and wait far behind in a race, increasing the distance between you and first place so that you get better items then you hold those items until opportune moments and use them to catch up to win the race at the last moment. Um, a difficult part about bagging is knowing how far behind to fall and, and when to start catching up. Um, and I'm not going to address those in the four keys to bagging because those are complex issues and I kind of want to address them in a later video. Um, so I'm going to assume that you have the feel for about when to start uh, going and about how far back to hold when bagging. And if you don't, you could at least watch the rest of this video and uh, take note. I'm going to give you four examples. So take note during these examples, kind of how far back I let myself fall and exactly when I start making my comeback. I think that'll at least help you get sort of the feel down. Um, but again, it's a complicated process that I plan on addressing further in a later video, but for now all you need to know is that bagging is when you intentionally wait behind, get good items, and then use those items cleverly to catch up and win the race. I thought the best way to uh, to sort of teach this or to, to, to go over these four keys would just be by direct example where you watch a race in which I emphasize some of those keys to bagging. Um, really they all come into play in every race but I want to focus on them one by one. And so the four keys to bagging are, let me just get those out of the way. Number one, get to 10 coins. It's going to help you. I've heard that it, you know, it increases your speed 5%, 10%, 6.6%. .6%. Regardless of how much it actually increases your speed, it helps a lot. If you can get to 10 coins early and then play catch up with some power items and have those 10 coins on top of it, um, it'll make your, your job a lot easier. So get 10 coins. Number two, know the map you're racing on. Yes, each map is a little bit different. Some maps aren't even conducive to bagging really at all. Kind of like a Wario Stadium uh, isn't a track that I would think of as a track you'd want to bag. Definitely a, more of a running track. Um, whereas other tracks like Cheese Land are tracks you really do want to bag. So know the track you're racing on and know the shortcuts available to you. You'll see what I mean when I get to that later. Um, if, if you feel like you don't know the map well, probably, probably not gonna work out if you bag it. Number three, know your competition. Basically, this one could be summed up as the less good you think you are relative to your competition, generally speaking, not always, but generally speaking, the more you're gonna wanna bag. Um, We'll see that later, too. I'll, sh I'll, I'll explain further in just a bit. And finally, the fourth point is, and I, I, I feel like this is the most complicated one, so I'm going to just say a very general thing, um, and I'll do my best to explain it briefly, but you could do, you could have a whole class just on this. Um, but that is managing your items. You must manage your items while bagging. Um, this, this, this is a complicated, strategic uh, process, and I'll try to give a good example that shows what I mean. Um, and then you combine all these four points together, and, and those are, in my opinion, the four keys to bagging. Um, so let's get to it, and let's see some video where I show these. And let's start by, by showing a video that really emphasizes me getting to 10 coins, and make it a comeback. So let's go. We're on Super Bell Subway. Roll the tape. Okay, so this first race is going to emphasize how valuable getting 10 coins 
uh, can be, but it's also going to emphasize every other point of the four skills that I just mentioned that you need to successfully bag. Um, they all come into play every single time. So let's start off. You see that I'm not bagging yet. I'm actually just running the track, but trying to get 10 coins, as you would expect. Because um, you always want co 10 coins no matter what, bagging or not. If you can get 10 coins, get 10 coins. Um, I have to take the upper route, but I'm coined out now. I don't get great items, and it's kind of at this point that I, I'm thinking I'm going to bag. Because I see how far ahead that first place is on the minimap. And so I know I need better items. So I throw it in reverse and try to get the double again, but it's it's not there when I, when I boost ahead. And so I actually get no items, but it's no big deal. I could just go back at the next set. Um, given the distance I am from first place, since items are based, the items you get are based on the distance uh, you are from first place, the probabilities that is that you get certain items, I know I'm going to get good items, probably power items and boost items. So I do, and now I'm going to, if I can, chain invincibility and cut through off-road. So, so I've got a star, I'm going to chain another star, and there's the shock dodge. That's one of the big things you want to get if you're bagging, if you can, is a shock dodge. If you're getting a lot of stars, um, chain them together and and hopefully a shock will come so at this point I use that in my mushrooms to get ahead and now I'm just gonna run the track so we can probably throw this in fast forward you'll see it's just a standard race from here on out I've bagged into first place I'm gonna use first place to my advantage I've got two red shells um, and basically run this track out um, a blue shell does come I kinda misplay it I should have hit the train instead of letting the blue shell hit me um, that was a mistake because the train slows you down less, but the, the bottom line is I get away with it and it ends up being a solid first place through bagging. Um, so let's jump to the next video. Alright, on Dry Dry Desert, and this one, I can't explain how important it is to get 10 coins, but also to know the map you're racing on. Um, on this track, there's the uh, this sort of quicksand portion um, where you can actually drift around it in a ring and get coins uh, basically for as long as you need to get coins. You're going to see me try to do that, but I mess it up. Um, now I've decided from the get-go that I'm bagging here, by the way. I, I almost never run Dry Dry Desert or Cheese Land. Those are two tracks I basically always bag. But anyway, you see I don't drift. I catch some off-road. So Lakitu will pick you up if you don't continuously drift. If you do drift around the whirlpool here, uh, you you will be okay. Um, so I do it again because I'm frustrated and I need coins. So I get a few more coins at least by doing it again. And I'm going to swing out and try to get to 10 here. But I only get to 9, but that's no big deal. Um, and it, you may be thinking, what are you doing, Mugs? You're almost uh, uh, two-thirds of a lap behind. But trust me, know your map. Dry Dry Desert has some of the best comeback ability because of all that off-road you can cut through if you have Goldens and Stars. So watch it here. I'm going to cut it behind this rock, and I'm going to just basically beeline it for the next item set. I'm able to trick over that, and, and I've covered a ton of ground in, in no time there. So I'm going to get great items again. What do I get? Now, these are actually not the best items, and you're going to see me make a mistake, and I want to emphasize this mistake. Um, this is a, a, a learning opportunity here. I get a star, and I use the ghost earlier than I should have, and I get shocked. If I had waited to use the ghost after uh, my star ran out, I would have turned invisible and got the shock dodge. However, if you use a boo while you're using while you have a star active, you won't be in invisible and invincible at all from the from the boo. So take that into effect. So now I have to keep bagging, and it's the third lap. So I've got to go. I only pull triples, which isn't great, but I take these shortcuts because I know the map. I know what cuts I can make. Now I'm actually you know keeping up with the pack here. I'm going to get great items again. Three more mushrooms and a star and my strategy is going to be to get a double item and chain the star into that double item however they're all taken so i have to just take a single and what do i get a boo i i lay it all on the line though and hope to steal boost items and i do and i get a second if i didn't steal boost items and instead stole like a shell with my boo i would have been stuck in the off-road and i would have been in a lot of trouble um so i really took a risk there but What's the risk, really? Um, if I if I swing out wide, then w all that's going to happen is I'm going to maybe, it, at best, get like a sixth or a seventh place. I don't want that. I want a second or a third or a first. Um, so so that's what I was playing for. If I if I do st steal a shell, then I'm probably getting last or next to last. But what's the difference between seventh and eleventh, right? 
um, I'd rather go all out for the, for the top spot. So that's what I did there, and it paid off for the second place. Now, this next one is all about knowing your competition. Um, here I'm racing worldwide, and there's only four racers, and again, we're on Super Bell Subway. Let's see the race. Um, I start off, again, trying to run the track. I can't get any coins at first. Um, I, I'm at, I have a couple, but I see the people ahead of me are already uh, widening the gap, and they have more coins than I do. Um, now it's me and this, this one other player, NFO Paul. Um, I'm trying to keep up with him, and so far I'm doing well. I don't need to bag yet, but you'll see things take a turn for the worse. Um, I cut through the off-road. Uh, he tries to get me with his red shell, but I'm able to dodge it and, and then shield myself. And I try to take this mini NISC here, um, but I mess it up. I bump the pole, I bump the wall, and now I realize I'm frustrated. I'm hopping because I need to bag. Um, why do I need to bag already? It's just one little mistake, right? I could have caught up without bagging. Wrong. These people are good. I don't know. I, I've never played with these players outside of, you know, a couple matches from this day. I don't remember uh, them at all other than them all being really good, and I knew that going into this race. Um, so I knew one mistake, and I wasn't going to be able to recover with shells and single mushrooms. However, if I can, you know, maybe get some blue shells, get a shock, um, get goldens, get stars... Uh, and chain things together, I can make a huge comeback. So there's some sloppy driving here, certainly. Um, but you're not out of a race when you bag. That's the other thing. It, it no, The less good you are than your competition, uh, the more you should bag. And here I know I'm outmatched. I, I wasn't racing a clean race, so I resorted to bagging. And you're going to see a payoff. I get a, a star and a blue shell, which lifts the train for me. I can cut through the off-road. My boo steals mushrooms. I can cut through that off-road. The blue shell slows down first place, a red shell slows down second place, and all of a sudden I find myself in first place thanks to bagging. Um, now here I, I try to, you know, just, just skirt by. I use the mushroom at the last moment so that I can use the banana to protect myself, and it works out, and I get the first place. Um, so, again, know your competition. You saw those scores there. Those players are really good at the game and I think my only chance was bagging. If I had just kept running the track, I probably would have been looking at mm, single mushrooms, red shells, things of that nature, fire flowers. Not what I wanted. I needed those power items uh, to really make to, to make my case there for, for first place and I did. Alright, one more I want to show and this is really about managing your items and knowing the map you're racing on. Uh, you know, certainly you still need to know your competition. Um, that never uh, goes away, and you want 10 coins. That's nev never going to go away. But I start goofily. Uh, you may be wondering, what am I doing? I don't really know what I'm, I was doing. I was trying a new strat where I get a mini turbo before that, knowing that if I mess up, this is a good track to bag. Excite Bike is a good bagging track. Um, so that, so I mess it up. My, my weird idea, of course, doesn't work. And so I'm just like, okay, I'm going to bag. I get hit by a show, but it's okay. I'm bagging. Um, I'm going to try to get some coins. Um, not many to go around so far. I'm hopping over some, so that's frustrating. It's tough to get coins on Excite Bike. Um, that's one thing about this track that does make it difficult, but you want to do it if you can. Um, another thing about Excite Bike is that mushrooms are extremely valuable on the two far ends, the two sort of off road corners you can cut. Save your mushrooms for those spots if you can uh, when bagging, or your stars, um, whatever it is you have. Um, now here I'm not going to do it because I actually want to get a better item, knowing that I'm in 7th, 8th place still. Um, so I, you just, you know, stay out wide. If I had cut in tight, I would have been in like 4th place, probably would have got like shells. So I, I stay out wide and I get triple mushrooms. Um, now I'm really hoping to uh, upgrade my items one more time before making a play. So I use my mushroom just before the box and take the cut. And I do. Now I have great items. Now I'm ready to run as fast as I can and hold my mushrooms for those corner cuts like I said. And same with the star. If I play my cards right, as long as no shock comes, I'm in business here. So you'll see me get bombed, and that's a tragedy, but I'm, I know I'm not out of the race. I'm able to hop through this corner with a couple of boosts. I need to waste two mushrooms, but that's okay. There's only one more corner to cut, and I still have a mushroom and a star. So, I don't panic here, I stay calm with a lot of chaos around me, I'm holding that mushroom for the corner, know your map, know your items, know your competition, and manage those items. And here we go, I use the mushroom and the star, and nobody can do anything about it, I've got the first place locked up.
that's how you utilize your items. So yeah, those are just four examples of me bagging tracks and doing my best as I show you the tape to summarize what's going on in my mind. Um, I know I was a little bit rambly there. I know this is a little bit different than what I usually do. Um, it's still kind of a Muggs' MK classroom video, but it's more of like, like I said, an extra session. A little bit more informal. I just wanted to, to show you some select races of me bagging and explain my thought process. Hopefully this helps you guys who are new to bagging or you know aren't very good at it uh, yet. Maybe you learned something here. If not, uh, I'll try to do better next time. Uh, but that's all I have. And until next time, uh, take care and bye bye